No, I am not drunk. I am actually considering using my Mac Mini 2012 as my main computer in late 2018. Hope you enjoy. What is up boys and girls? My name is Vin Jimfield. Hope you're having a smashing day. And today we're gonna to be talking about my Mac Mini 2012. Uh, now I've done a couple of videos on this thing and I've been, you know, just talking about all sorts of things about this thing and uh, people have been basically begging me to make more videos on this. And you know, it's actually sparked my interest in using this again several years later. This, this was my first Mac computer and then I upgraded to my MacBook Pro Retina 13 inch from late 2013. Also a computer that I like, by the way. And I'm actually making this video using a web camera and this is connected to uh, Blue Beast, my Hackintosh. And I'm still considering, you know, just flipping my game completely and using the Mac Mini again. Let me tell you exactly why. So uh, the reason why I don't want to get the new Mac mini is really just because of one simple thing. It, it costs a lot of money and I'm just thinking, what is the big upside if I was to use that in front of this, you know, obviously you would get better export times. No arguments there. Now this is this is this got the i7, an older generation i7. It's got 16 gigs of RAM and two SSD, two SSDs that I can replace. They're they're only like 128 gigabytes, but I can I can replace those. You know that I don't mind investing in and changing up. And it's even got an SD card slot. The only thing that makes me not want to use this again is this is not the most 4k friendly computer in the world but as you probably know i have been sort of um abandoned 4k even though i do have several cameras you know my my iphone my web camera my dslr my gopro hero 7 and yet i'm still sort of flipped my opinion about image quality do I mean that I think that image quality can suck? No, I'm simply saying I think that there is more to image quality, you know, like good lighting. For instance, if this uh, web camera was shooting in 8K right now and it was a lot darker in this room, it would still look bad. Even if I would have like a full frame sensor, it would still look bad if it was dark in here. So uh, bad example, I know. I'm just trying to explain my point. Like, I don't think that the resolution is everything. So. I think I could actually use the Mac Mini and just do a little bit of tweaking, for instance, just giving it a little bit of a boost uh, when it comes to making, perhaps I would put in two SSD drives and RAID 0 them to make them twice as fast. So I could definitely, definitely pull that off. And I think I will actually, if nothing else, I would definitely try it. I'll make a video on it. My Everything has to do, you know, with what you use your computer, what you use your computer for. For instance, if you're using your computer to really edit 4K uh, videos, you know, you're making 4K adventures, you know, GoPro and you're doing lots of slow motion, then yeah, definitely you could use something like uh, the Mac Mini 2018 model. Absolutely, you know, like that's a, that's a powerful beast. And I would, I made a video where I basically recommend it. But when it comes to my Mac Mini 2012, I, I kind of love the idea that it's sort of old and that it's still a computer that I could use today, several years later, and still be able to do what I'm doing right now, which is recording in OBS Studio. I could have also just edited this in Final Cut Pro, no problem. The importing would take a lot of time, but actually the exporting would not take that much time. I've done experiments on this where I've actually compared all my computers and sure, it would be a couple of minutes more, but because my old ancient Mac Mini 2012 has support for QuickSync, if 
you don't want to know what QuickSync is, Google it. It's on, you know, it's Intel's QuickSync. It's sort of a, a, a thing that is included in the processor of the Intel processor, the, the CPU, and it basically makes converting video files a lot faster. Uh, it's X264, and it's really, really nice. Uh, ever since I started using QuickSync, I, it's been blowing my mind. In Final Cut Pro, there is an option where you can actually select exporting web hosting files, and it looks really good, and it doesn't take a lot of um, storage space, and it, it looks good, it really does. So uh, it's really cool. Now I know that there are some of you guys, I know it in the comments section are gonna be saying like, what are you smoking? Like what you're talking about is like compromises and compromises, compromises. Yeah, I am, but uh, this video is not about, you know, whether or not my Mac mini 2012 is better than the 2018. I'm gonna leave that in a different video uh, because trust me, I do have valid points why the Mac Mini 2012 is better than the 2018. This video is more about me just reusing a good piece of equipment. Now, this is the question of today. Do you have a piece of technology in your home today that you are still using and it's been several years? I'm gonna trust that it wasn't your smartphone because your smartphone is probably a year old at most. Am I right? I'm right, right? Is it your computer? Three years tops. What kind of electronic devices do you have at home that you can use after six years still? Because that's what this is gonna be all about. And now before you say that I'm gonna, you know, use something less, know this the kind of video that i've edited today this video it's the same kind of video that i can edit on my mac mini 2012. that's a good thing that's a really really good thing so i'm gonna you know i'm i'm, I'm not 100 percent certain that it's gonna work but i'm pretty certain so i'm gonna test it and we'll see how it goes if all goes as i plan as i think it's gonna go I think that the small drawbacks it's going to have, they're going to be worth it. But we'll see. Again, I'm going to make a video on it. Wish me luck. Okay, that was it. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, see that like button, smash it. And I got some freakishly awesome videos coming up. Better subscribe so you don't miss a beat. I'll see you later. Peace.